Welcome back, class. So let's carry on with the lesson two. So at the, at the end of lesson one, we created a script. And the script had 39 steps. And we ran the script, and we saw that everything worked fine. Now, the lesson two, I'm going to show you the test actions. What is a typical thing you are going to be doing after you record your script? The first thing you're probably going to do is you're going to compress the script. So you're going to groom the script, take out things that are not needed, and group your script into smaller scripts. So let's get started. Um, so I've done this already. I, I shrunk the password from two lines into one line. Then the next line, I saw that, OK, the OK button was pushed. That is fine. We can leave that. Number five. I don't know what that, oh, okay, number five, that was when I moved the screen to the top. Man, you might not necessarily move that up and down. Let's leave it in there for now. But that's not needed. Number seven is needed. I pressed the edit button. Number eight, I added the add entry. That's good. Number nine, now in number nine, I clicked on the title, as you can see in the diagram. Now watch what happens. Ranerex recorded the title over three different lines. You don't need this. And I believe the title was Lesson 9 Video. So what you do is this. Take out the very first one, take everything out in there, and type in your Lesson 9 Video. Just do it once. So you don't have to do it all over again. And now take, delete these lines that you don't need. It just makes your script run faster and it makes it a lot smaller. OK, so we click on the text, and this is our text. Beautiful. Now, the next one was a username. So username, we clicked on it, and the same thing happened in here as well for the username. I typed in, OK, Ty, and what happened afterwards? We went to click on, OK, that's fine. So let's leave that. That's fine. Now, the next one, he went back. That's fine. Password, OK. Now for password, so, so what it did here, it separated my password as A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. What I would do is I will put all that together as one line, as A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And I will take out the remaining lines I don't need. Now, I, did, I, I can do it one after the other. So I can right click here and press delete, or I can hold down the control button and select how many things I want to delete at the same time. OK? And you press delete. So that's for the password. Now, for the repeat password, the same thing happened, right? We clicked on the field. Then we pressed the backspace to delete the old field. And we put in the same password, which was ABC123. So I'll put that in here as ABC123. And I'll take this guy out. OK, so we're making progress. Now, the next line was we clicked on the URL. And the same thing happened, as, as you can see. The busyqa.com was, was broken down into different lines. What I'll do is I'll make all that just one line. That's busyqa.com. And I can delete the other lines I don't need. OK? So I'll hold down the Control key, and I'll delete the ones I don't need. OK, beautiful. Then the last one was the notes. And the notes, it was just straightforward. Then we clicked on the mouse, the OK button. We clicked on lesson 9, and we deleted the script. OK, then we closed it. We closed the application. We said discard changes, meaning don't save any change. And we went to Ranorix. Now, you don't need this as well. You don't need this line. This lesson one, Ranorex. Because the moment it stops, Ranorex is open by default. So we can delete this as well. OK? So now we've reduced 39 lines of, of script into 27 line. Let's run this. Let's make sure this works fine. So what I'll do first is you might as well save, because you, know, you made a lot of changes, and you don't want to lose your changes. So just press Save to save your recording. And let's press the Play button. 
to see to make sure that that changes still works. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So as you can see, guys, everything still worked fine. And if you had, if you didn't notice, the script actually ran a lot faster than the previous one. So that's how you groom your script. And it's the same thing we did in Selenium, and the same thing we did at QTP as well. You have to learn how to groom your recording scripts. Now, the next thing I want to show you is also very important. This is where we break down this, a, a long script into smaller scripts. And by the way, I don't think we need this, this moving of screen. I'll delete that because I was watching it in there. We don't need, um, what essentially this is, is when I move the screen, I move it myself, from, but we don't need it. So I'll take that out. All right, now I'm gonna break down this long script into smaller chunks. The, the first four lines is essentially logging in. So we're going to open up the application and we put it in the password and we're trying to log in to open up the application. So what I'll do is I'll hold down the control button and I'll press all four of them and I'll tell RunnerX to move them into a, a new script. So you move to a new script and I'm gonna say, give it a name, I'll call it login. So that's my login function and I'll press create. And right away, I have a login script. Beautiful. Now, let's go back into the original one. And now, the, other, the, the next ones is where you create a new entry. So I can tell RenderX that, okay, um, I want to break this down. Because the moment you press OK, okay, so from here to the very top is add a new entry. Let's make sure. Yes, so this is add a new entry. So I can tell RunnerX, okay, make everything here into a new script, and I'll call it add new entry. Bang, I have another script, and this guy's job is just to create a new entry. Now let's go back in there again. We have um, lesson nine, and we have delete entry. Okay, I can call this two, the first two, delete entry. That's what they do. So I'll say move to a new recording module, and I'll call this delete entry. And I'll press the create button. Okay, so I have another script, and this script's job is just to delete a an, an, an entry. Now the last one we have in there is close. This is where you actually close. Um, you close the application and you discard the change. Okay, let's move this to into another and let's call it close. Okay, beautiful. So now essentially what we have is we've broken this down into multiple scripts. Save all your changes so you don't lose anything. So I'll push the save all, and all my script has been saved. As you can see in the module browser, I now have 
one, two, three, four, five scripts. Recording one is empty, so I don't need that. But now I want to run all my scripts together. So I'll go into my lesson one, which is the name of the project. I know recording one has nothing in there, so I'll take it out. I'll press delete. Now the first thing I want to do is login, right? So I'll drag my login to the test case. Make sure to make it stay, you have to drag it and make sure it actually touches test case. There you go, login. After my login in, the next thing we want to do is add a new entry. So I'm going to take my new entry and I'm going to drag it and make sure when I see the line right underneath login, I'll drop it. So I log in, I add a new entry. Then the next thing I want to do is what, guys? You want to delete the entry. So I'm going to click on delete entry and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drag it. Once I get to add a new entry, I stop and it stays there. And the last thing I want to do is I want to close my, I want to close the application. Why do we need to do all this? The reason is because if I ever, ever want to log in again, I don't have to record that again. I already have a recording script for login. So I can keep using my login in for as long as I need to use it. And the same applies to closing. If I ever want to close the application, all I have to do is call this script. So meaning I don't have to record closing all the time. I already done it once, I have it. So that's the beauty of breaking things down. Now let's make sure everything works. So let's run this test suite. So to do that, I'll, I'll click on the test suite and I'll press run. All right, guys, so this is a beauty. So they all passed, everything was fine. And if I open my test report for my test case, I can see that I have in my test suite, I have four different test cases. And RunnerX is telling me all four test cases all passed. Oh, sorry, I have one test case with four different scripts and all the scripts all passed. And you can see the time taken by each one and every one of them. So this is how you break a very long script into little chunks of script that can be reused over and over again, okay? So that's the end of lesson two. Um, stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank you.